Hey guys, my name is Ben, and today I'm wrenching on my 94 Chevy K1500. Hopefully this is the last video in my series on my drive shaft. I got the drive shaft out, I replaced it. So I installed a new drive shaft, I changed out the pinion seal on the back, I did the transfer case seal on the front, and the last thing I need to do is change out the universal joint on the back of the drive shaft. The one on this new drive shaft is the wrong size, and so I've got a new U joint. So I'm going to take the drive shaft out one more time, change that out, and and fill up the transfer case with fluid again. And hopefully that's the last time I got to do that. So let's get into it. just have to take the snap ring out and then knock these uh, caps through. I'm going to use some pliers and get the snap ring out. There we go. Same thing with the other side. got the biggest socket that I have that'll fit in here and it's a three-quarter socket so I'm gonna put that here and just tap this out I put a piece of wood under here just to protect uh, this side of the drive shaft A little bit of PB blaster to try to grease these up a little bit. So it's definitely coming through. I'm just trying to go easy. I don't want to mess anything up. All right, so now that I've got this side sticking out far enough uh, to grab onto it, I'm gonna try to take this cap off. There we go. There we go. So I've got that cap off. Took these pliers and worked it around a little bit. And then I flipped it over to knock this back through a little bit more. The cap just fell right off. I'm gonna try to push this bottom one back through so I can just pull this U-joint out. I got a 16 millimeter socket that fits just right over this shaft so that I can push it back through the bottom.
I've almost got that one through far enough to pull this out. My socket's about to bottom out, so I'm gonna use a punch. There we go. Got it out, awesome. I'm ready to install the new U-joint. I got PR448. I got this from O'Reilly just because I could get it today. There's a Moog 448, and that's the one I'll link in the description. Uh, I've heard good things about Moog, so I would have got that one, but it wasn't going to come till tomorrow, and I want to get this one done today. So for the drive shaft that I got, the Dorman, uh, these are 1.063 holes, and this U-joint, this is a 1.063 cap. And then the other one is the 1.188. And that is the one that goes into the yoke on uh, the front of the differential. So I like this one because it's got the grease fitting so I can grease it. Um, it'll last just a little bit longer uh, by doing that. And they're usually a little bit higher quality if they're greasable. So I'm gonna get this one in. And the name of the game getting these in is we're gonna have to take these caps off. And the number one thing we wanna do is make sure that we don't lose any of those needle bearings in there. They need to stay up against the wall like that all the way around. Uh, if one of those gets lodged down in this cap, then we gotta take it out and put it right back up against that wall. So as we're taking these caps off, just gotta make sure that uh, none of those needle bearings fall down. So hopefully what we can do is take one of the caps off. And the best thing to do is to see if you can get one of these in there. Now I can't. Uh, this one's pretty tight here. When I took the old one off and got the cap off, um, I actually had to take both caps off to get this out. Sometimes you'll only have to take one cap off and then you can snake it out of there. Um, but this one's a little tight, so I'm actually gonna have to take both caps off. So I'm gonna take this one off and make sure my needle bearings are still good. This one off. And then I want to pay attention to where the grease fitting is. So I want it towards this side of the drive shaft because I want my grease fitting sticking out towards the front of the truck. And that way, uh, when I go to grease it, it'll be sticking out the front of the truck instead of the back. It'll be a little bit easier to fill. Um, so I'm going to turn it this way and just center this as best I can. and fit one of these caps on. All right, now that I've got one of the caps in, I'm gonna try to put the other one this way. See how far down in there I can get it. What I'm gonna try first is a C-clamp. I'm gonna try to pinch those caps down uh, until they cinch down uh, onto the U-joint. All right, so this is the setup I've got. I've got my C-clamp clamped onto both of these caps. I've got it centered as best I can. And I'm just gonna start tightening this down and hope that those caps are centered well enough that that U-joint will just slide right into them. And it's working really well, actually. All right, so now that I've got the U-joint into the caps, uh, I can see that this side has a little bit more of a gap than this one does. So I'm gonna put my C-clamp on here to tighten this cap down where uh, it'll go in onto the cap, tighten this one down so I center it a little bit better. And then I may have to switch it to the other side to tighten this one down. But I need these caps to recess in there enough for me to get the snap rings in propped it up a little bit so my C-clamp has more room for this handle to turn. And I'm just trying to center it in inside that cap so I can push that cap down even further. 
All right, that's pretty good. I can almost see that ridge through here where the snap ring is going to go. So I just want to keep pushing it until I can see the whole ridge. All right, there we go. All right, so that notch right there is where the snap ring is gonna sit. So that looks pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and put my snap ring in. These that were originally in there, I uh, bent them quite a bit when I took them out. So I didn't wanna reuse them, but I think I will just reuse these as long as I can get these uh, snap rings into this groove, then I should be okay. So I'm gonna compress this and then just push it down with a screwdriver until it snaps in there. And there we go. So then I can use a screwdriver and pry this until I have it wedged into the groove as best as I can get it. So that one looks good. Yeah, it's definitely in there. All right, so there's one. I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Clamp down this cap until I can see the notch for the snap ring. All right, it's pretty close. So what I know is that since this snap rings in, I can tap on this one and knock it down to where it needs to be. So I'm gonna do that. I shouldn't have to hit it too hard since it's a new one. I'm not moving it very much and I'm not like hitting all that hard. So I'm gonna try the C-clamp method one more time. It's really close. I mean, I just need to move it like the tiniest bit more. I've got my C-clamp so tight that I can't loosen it by hand. So one thing you can do is take a wrench and stick it around the handle. And that'll give you some extra leverage. but I'm just working on getting it in there and give me enough room to snap it down into that groove. There we go. That one looks good. It's in there all the way around. So that one is definitely in the groove. This one, same thing. So I've got my new U-joint installed. All right, let's get the drive shaft back into the truck. Real quick, here's everything I used to take out the U-joint and put the new one in. So uh, I guess quickly, PB Blaster to grease this up so you can slide those in and out a little bit easier. Uh, hammer to go hitting on it. Some sockets of various sizes that fit in here. This was a three quarter socket. Yeah, three quarter, 16 millimeter socket. Uh, needle nose pliers to grab the snap rings. I used a punch at one point. Um, and then pliers of various sizes. So uh, these channel lock pliers were good for when the cap was sticking out. I could grab onto it with these as tight as I could get it and twist it. Once you can twist that around, they come out a lot easier. Uh, these smaller pliers, these are great. I think I got these on Timu, but uh, these open up. And those are nice for Timu pliers. Uh, some small needle nose pliers uh, for the snap rings. If you can use those, they're easier to use than these big ones. And a screwdriver, regular old flathead screwdriver, uh, C-clamp. That was nice for uh, pinching these caps back in once I got the new one in. Uh, so I just wanted to show all that. That's everything I used. Also, real quick, I've got a U-joint that I did not use. So this is the one that came off my drive shaft. It's got uh, 1.063 caps 
on one side and then these other sides are inch and an eighth so 1.125 caps with the inner uh, rings so if anybody wants this u joint let me know and i'll send it to you for free because i'm not going to use it and it's brand new Got the back tires just off the floor on some jack stands uh, on both sides. Got my jack under there for extra safety. Front wheels chalked. Put the truck in neutral. All right, now I can turn this yoke so that I can line up the U-joints and get them in between those tabs. bolts are just long enough where it's difficult to get them in but I did get it in all right I got those tightened down everything looks good there and the drive shaft is in again so I'm gonna go ahead and fill the transfer case with transmission fluid I'm not gonna film it again because I've already done it two other times, but uh, if you're only seeing this video and not watching my other uh, video, then uh, I'll talk through how to fill the transfer case. Fill plugs right there, it's 30 millimeters. Open that up, fill it up with uh, transmission fluid until it leaks out, then you know it's full and you can put the plug back on. I don't know the torque spec for that, so uh, I just tighten it down until it's good. Hopefully I am finished with this project. What started out as hopefully just changing U-joints turned into a new drive shaft, pinion seal, uh, transfer case output seal, and then also a new U-joint. So that's how projects go sometimes. But uh, we got it done. So this is the end of this project. Uh, Thanks for watching. And uh, if you want to see more content on my 94 Chevy K1500, then uh, subscribe to my channel and I'll have more coming up. Thanks guys.